All right, perfect circle square. And um, in this case, we're going to use just one polygon, not four. So it's more tricky. But all right, let's use the connect tool on these four edges. And take this one, use the bevel tool, go like that. And use the bevel tool, inset it one more time, just lightly. And one more time, we'll do that upwards. And one more time inwards. So this is, well, not quite a perfect square, but it's quite neat. So um, you can go like that um, and take these guys and chamfer those just lightly. And you got this. Of course, this one you can make a pull here. And you got a quite nice result. Not perfect, but um, well, doing stuff perfect in, in sub D is impossible. Um, so, but it's not that far off. So, um, so yeah, th this is doing it on on uh, one polygon. So yeah, you, you can see that we got trigons here, but it doesn't really matter. This is a mechanical object, so trigons really don't matter all that much on mechanical objects. Uh, it's more problematic for organic uh, modeling and when animating and stuff. So don't worry too much if you got trigons on your sub object and it's a mechanical object. Bit more difficult to UV sometimes, but yeah. Um, let's do that over again, but uh, we're going to use we're going to create a circle this time around, and it's the same thing really. Uh, just go like that, bevel it inwards again, and. Yeah, I think we'll just jump to beveling it outwards, like we did. My beta core is quite slow here, as you can see. Go like that, and I think we'll just go like that. So it's basically almost the same thing, but I need to adjust these guys, as you can see. So I'll take those and those and these and these. The problem now is that I have to adjust this manually, so I can use the transform tool, but you can see that, well, it's kind of like not doing quite what I want here, as it's kind of like dragging the bottom up. Well, I mean, that could be cool, but not what we want. So I'll jump to poly mode and make a pull and go back use the transform tool again and here we are. So what I can do now is I can adjust this here and that one and it's starting to look kind of okay. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, maybe I should have those two 75 75 or 8080. No, uh, 7070, I guess. Yeah. So it's not perfect, but um, it is not that far away. So I'll have to adjust this one slightly later on. We'll just move that up like that, I guess. Maybe take this guy here, move that down. Yeah, 
Well, I think I'll do something else instead. I think I'll just take this one, loop it, and use the connect tool. There we go. That's more like it. Maybe even take this one, loop that out, and use the size tool with action center selection. Something like that. Yeah. But you know, you could tweak this forever. Um, but I just wanted to show you these two techniques. Works uh, quite good. And of course, if you want to do the same thing, but do four polygons is a different operation. So yeah, that's a different video.